Welcome everybody. It has been a little while since you guys have had an update. There's Cheesecake and then Shadow and Phoenix. <sighs> Happy end of March. It is <clears throat> 32 degrees outside and we are warming up the greenhouse so we can start planting in there. So, oh, let's see how warm it is in here. So welcome to the greenhouse. I think this is your first time seeing this. So I got a little bit of cleanup in here to do, but we're gonna plant a ton of plants on here and the back one and this side. And when those are filled, then we're gonna do, I think, um, a row on the bottom. But there's our temperature gauge. Let's see. So it says it's about 60 in here, which isn't bad. And that is how we are using or this is what we're using to heat them currently. So, there's that for you. And as you can see, it is sunny and gorgeous outside. We are just going to start transplanting all those little plants you guys watched us plant. Or all the seedlings, I guess, you watched us plant. Ah! We're gonna upplant all those today. I shouldn't say all. We're gonna upplant a lot of them. Um, and see how far we get and from there we will go ahead and um, so we transplanted some of them already we're gonna go ahead and bring those out here and then we'll start transplanting some of the other ones um, into cups and I'll show you a little bit of that later but some of the ones that we transplanted earlier they have gotten mm, quite tall <laughs> Um, I think the one, we have like two tomatoes that really took off really well. And I'll show you what I added to those ones. Um, and I don't know if it made a difference or not, but I know I only added it to those two. I didn't add them to a bunch of the other things. So, um, yeah. So I will go ahead and show you guys all that stuff here in a little bit. Stay tuned. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Young Gardeners, everyone. So we left off at the greenhouse. Now we're back in the house. These are what we transplanted up into bigger containers. Mm. Oh, let's see, probably two weeks ago. So they're doing, these ones are doing really well. These are all cucumbers. Um, so we're actually starting to vine, which is fine. Um, these really tall guys are our pumpkins. And I'm not sure why they did that compared to why those didn't do that. The exact same circumstances. This is because they touched the light while we were gone. So my husband and I took a trip and we're gone for two weeks or two weeks, a week. Um, so those were, um, yeah, they just ended up growing and touching the light while we were gone. But these are our tomatoes and I'm going to get some steaks, I think, um, for some support because those are, those are really tall. These guys are doing really good too. And these ones are the ones we're going to plant next. We're going to take these, put them into cups. Um, let's see here. Philip had, Philip had updated all of our um, sweet potatoes. You forgot one, bud. Uh -huh. You did. So look at how many starts we have. This whole jar starts, this whole jar back there, that one, and then that one. So we have tons of starts. And then these were our onions. I think, I don't, I've never grown onions like this from seeds. I think that's what they're supposed to be doing. And then we end up having some more little onions popping in there. Our marigolds, which we'll see if I planted those early enough. I'm not sure if I did. If not, I'll just buy some. That's not the end of the world. But then we've came back to all this. So you can definitely tell the ones that don't get natural sunlight from the window aren't as big as these ones. So we're going to start with the top up here, start transplanting all those. Those are all tomatoes. These are our peppers. Um, this tray was actually planted before those two, so those are, that's why those are bigger. But you can see that they're, they are growing towards the window. They're reaching for the sun outside. These were planted last, so I didn't expect these to be too big. Like, these are just starting to come in. And then these, um, uh, the people who watch the house either didn't water them or I don't know. But some of the mice was able to save... Um, like this guy, we'll plant him up. We'll plant these ones up and stuff. So, 
There's that. Hi. So that's what hi. we are going to work on. Yeah, hi. That's what we're going to work on today is getting all of these planted into bigger cups. You're gross, Philip. Don't do that. Okay. Um, we're going to work on planting those into bigger cups. And from there, we'll take them out to the greenhouse. So all these ones that are already in their cups, we're going to just take those out to the greenhouse, get them really nicely watered and starting to adapt out there. But instead of using those big solo cups for everything, I bought some smaller cups for the smaller ones and I put three holes in those. And I wanna say those are five ounces and these ones I think, these, were, oops. these ones I think were nine, um, but we put holes in those too. Oh, there you can see them. Some nice drainage, and I'll hop back on here in a little bit and show you what else we've got going on. Hey, back. So this is a video more so on like just catching you up on what has happened over the last mm, week while we were gone on vacation. Um, so I have planted these ones up already. And... I did some research, shocker, while we were sitting in the car for 13 hours on our way down and on our way back. So, we I've been planting stuff with this. There'll be a link in the comments if you guys want to look at it. Um, if not, no big deal. I just wanted to try it. I've heard really good stuff about it. So, the thing that I found interesting when we were out driving around and I was just kind of looking at some other things that we could try because we have so many tomatoes so many peppers one of the things someone was trying with tomatoes and they said that worked last year when they did it was so here's your tomato plant I already pulled it here's our roots so usually you'd bury your dirt all the way up to here all this would create new roots so when it's windy just it, it has a better root system they said if you pick it so you have your two baby leaves that started if you pick it right in the center there and pull the top off so here, I already did this one. So like, let's say this was a top and you pulled this part off. Let me just show you, I have to do it anyway. So you have this part, plant this part and plant it all the way up. And then you have this guy, right? So you're gonna plant this one and you're gonna plant it same thing all the way up. Supposedly what's gonna happen is this here will create a bunch of roots, which if you think about it makes sense because if you pull all these leaves off and you pull this one off, that'll all create roots, so why wouldn't it work? So we're gonna give that a try with a couple of these and see, see if you can literally get one seed to make two tomato plants that actually do well. So. We're going to do that. The ones we're planting right now are called sweet tomatoes. So I have, well now those three, and then I've got these guys, which are really lanky, so I'm gonna cut these in half too. And do the same thing with those. And then other than that, we're just taking them, I'm giving them a good, good drink in here in the house, and then I'm just taking them out to the greenhouse. Um, I'll show you guys what the greenhouse looks like in a little bit. You saw it quote unquote empty. There was no plant, no living plants in it. Um, I will show you after we get a bunch of these out there what it looks like. And I haven't decided yet where I'm moving all those pots and containers um, because I want to plant in them, but I need space for all of these. So I'm like debating what to do. So I will give you guys another update here in a little bit. And this is just a really a, a updated video, so you're going to have little chunks of updates. Um, but yeah, so nothing too particular. If there's something you guys had questions on or wanted to see, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I will try my best in the next video to answer them if I have an answer.
our watermelon did not like its transfer. So I'm going to go ahead and start some more of those. Pumpkins. And squash are in the back. These are spaghetti squash. And then one little cabbage. I'm going to start a bunch more of that. And our cucumbers. Oh, and then we got more tomatoes. <laughs> and I have a ton more in the house. Thank you. 